Staples officer. My job was to help on the front end and the back end of acquiring American military equipment to turn it over to the Afghans and train them on how to use it. So you can imagine how shameful I find it that today all of that equipment has fallen into the hands of the Taliban. Because of the negligence of this administration and the hasty retreat that they led out of Afghanistan, they have left $85 billion worth of American equipment in the hands of our enemy, the Taliban. 75,000 vehicles, over 200 airplanes and helicopters, over 600,000 small arms and light weapons. The Taliban now has more Black Hawk helicopters than 85% of the countries in the world. But it's not just weapons. They have night vision goggles, body armor, and unbelievably, the Taliban now has biometric devices, which have the fingerprints, eye scans, and biographical information of all of the Afghans who helped us and were on our side over the last 20 years. There is no plan by this administration to get those weapons back. There is no plan to account for any of this equipment or these weapons. I can tell you that uh, members of the Armed Services Committee on the Republican side will be fighting for amendments to the National Defense Authorization Act next week when we mark up that important bill to do what the, what the Biden administration has failed to do. Let me be very clear. If any American is harmed, injured, or killed and not safely evacuated out of Afghanistan, or if any of these weapons or this military equipment is used to harm, injure, or kill an American now or at any time in the future, the blood is on Joe Biden's hands.